I just picked up a rolling cart here for my tools. It's called a Viver. Uh, model number here, it says Viver Utility Carts, model JY-BS. Made of a hard type plastic. It's got a steel, steel caster wheel. Well, the, the frame of the wheels are steel, but the actual wheel uh, maybe steel and then some rubber rubber for the wheel to tire part so the dimensions are this is the cargo space 30 inches by 16 inches in the center but the overall overall length with the end of the handle is about uh, almost 40 inches it stands up about 33 inches high so um, there's different models, but the model I kind of wanted was, I think, a little bit wider. But anyways, I'm stuck with this model. But uh, this has uh, locking casters. I'll show you. See how it stays in place. If you unlock the casters, see how it goes downhill okay, so where I am. As you know, uh, if you put the locking casters on, it stays in place. It's made of a hard plastic. Uh, assembly is quite easy. We'll show you a little routine on assembly. The wife assembled this one for me. So basically you have a lower deck and a top deck. You have four plastic posts that go between. And your cast is bolted to the bottom here. And from here it bolts, snaps in place here kind of thing. And there's bolts underneath here. Bolts here and bolts there. So it all kind of stays in place. It's got a bit of a, a grip handle there. Also, you can put your drink there. You can roll around, you can use it for food, you can use it for anything, and not just for tools, it could be used for any type a serving tray or food or dishes or anything you want really that occupies that certain space. So, with this thing here, I'm going to slowly get my tools in here a little closer. Excuse the wind here, but uh, getting a little bit of wind here. But uh, so, what I'll do is, you know, like tools like this, I may not immediately use. I may put them down here like that, but the tools, like for instance, I can keep this here, but I can separate it. Right, different tools can go like that. Lay them all out. The most common tools I may use. Then what I might do, I might I might take my my Torx. All the different torques I have. Maybe put my torques in here. Try to keep it in one location so it won't get mixed up. You can have all the different tools here also. Try to mix them in here. Like that. Obviously, I'm going to have a whole load of tools. But. I can have them on the bottom too, it doesn't have to be on the top. Spread them out a bit. The bolt cutters, hammers. Immediate tools that we put up here. I use all, all times. And I have little sockets and drill bits. Eventually I can or organize it as I use it organize it better but it's a, I think it's a little small for for me but it does work I would prefer to have one I think they're like 25 inches long wide or something but still okay it still works What happens is this is more of a tool cart where you have your tools here and you move your tools around because what will happen is eventually tools will be on the table, they'll be here and they'll be all mixed up. It's more of a cart where you roll it around instead of me using this wheelbarrow. I think I might put the Torx, I can see another one there. Some of these extensions, so I'll know where they are. 
don't know why they left one open like that. Eventually I can maybe sort it out, most of the stuff in here, and then get rid of that tray. These are all different bits here, extensions and all that. Extension here. So like I said, it's going to be good. Okay, let's have stuff like that. If I make that a little smaller, I can get rid of that, it will give me a little more room. So I don't really need all that space when I start moving stuff around. Some of these bits might just end up ending up in some of these spots here. Okay, so that's the tray there. So, like I say, you unlock the casters like that, you just roll around. So, uh, two uh, reels are stationary, the, the caster side they turn. So, you use your turning by the caster side of that. All you just judge your corners. tool thing so like eventually like see how see how it wants to roll around just kind of find your position lock your wheels in place there it is stationary a lot of uh, different ones don't have that some are made of metal some are uh, three tiers they're all different versions but kind of one one pretty basic like I say um, some some might be a little bigger I would prefer to have one that was like a like this, just a little bigger for what for the amount of tools I have. But like I say, most of the tools really are going to be on your half will be on there, half will be on here, and then when you take it away, it just it's a carrier basically. And it's supposed to be rated for like 550 pounds rating. I don't know if I would judge that, but. I read in the manual and looked around, it doesn't say nothing about UV protection, so I'm not really sure how it's going to hold up in the sun, but there was no, definitely no information about that on there. But it's definitely hard, and this plastic is like really tough. That's the kind of plastic you can't break, you have to cut it. So I do a lot of scrapping and I get plastic like this, there's no way you could break with a hammer. It, it's, it's somewhat flexible, but also super tough. You know, it's a little flex to it, see? Super tough. So uh, they're around just $100, $120, depends, US, Canadian, I paid about $105 or $110 Canadian on Amazon, delivered, with shipping included, but in the US it could price a little cheaper, you know, it depends where you are, if they have in the warehouse or not, but, so it's a Viver, uh, it's a pretty good product, Viver, I've, I've used Viver products, they're pretty good. Uh, they advertise half the price of uh, other tools, but it's hard to say. I mean, 
you know there's a lot of carts for this price range i'm not sure the quality wise if there's good uh like i say there is metal ones but then you have to worry about rust 